After landing in the city of Hanoi, we decided to book a sleeper bus and spend two nights at the breathtakingly beautiful town of Sapa. Join us as we bring you to see their pristine rice terraces, epic mountain views, and finding the best places to eat. It is 6 a.m. and we are going to take the sleeper bus to Sapa now. Ready to go! We arrived at our pickup point in Hanoi Old Quarter and the tickets for the sleeper bus were booked on Cloak. I will leave the link down below for you guys to refer to. And even though they said that the departure will be at 6.30am, the locals told us that the bus will only leave 30 minutes later. We went for the more budget option which provided a blanket and pillow as I'm only 160 centimeters tall, the seat length was just nice for me. But for Jerome, at 177 centimeters tall, he had to bend his legs to sleep. Overall, the bus ride was comfortable enough for me to squeeze a couple of naps in between. So after 6 hours on the sleeper bus, we finally reached Sapa and now we are going to rent a motorbike to go around the town area and the accommodation that we booked is called Mega View Homestay. It's really cheap, I think it's less than $100 for 2 nights and it's really nice. The staff below speaks English as well which makes the check-in process pretty smooth and easy. We are like not used to the coconut curry flavor. Like it tastes too coconutty, and for us, curry is not supposed to taste like that. So we just reached the ticket station of Cat Cat Village, and it is ninety thousand dong per person. Come back. A leg trembling. I got a crawl on Come, come. Oh my god, there is more steps. We are walking back up from Kekat Village, so it's quite a climb. I think it's going to take us one hour. We are back at our accoms. For Kekat Village, right, you take about 45 minutes, I think. About 30 to 45 minutes to walk all the way down to the waterfall. If you want, you can buy some coffee and chill while you're there. We trekked 
back up the slope and that took us about 30 to 45 minutes as well so uh, it's an inclined slope up if you are not keen to track right there'll be motorbikes along the way that will offer to ride you up i'm not too sure how much it costs but we didn't take it so now we are back at our accoms and we're gonna rest a while and then we're gonna have dinner Our hotel host recommended us this place for dinner. We ordered the sturgeon hot pot set for a total of 600,000 dong. It came with a lot of vegetables. I loved this place so so much. The soup was tomato based and tasted amazing. The sturgeon was a little fishy so if you don't like that, you can order salmon instead. We are going to have breakfast now! Let's go! On our second day at Sapa, we visited the cutest cafe called Fancy Pen Terrace and Homestay along with a good breakfast meal and a beautiful view. We also had a family of poodles to dine with us. That's so cute! <laughs> this place is like a mini poodle cafe whereby the dogs actually come and interact with you. <laughs> so cute! It's a free dog cafe. Yeah, it's a free dog cafe. So now we're here at Love Waterfall and you gotta pay 70 dong per person to go inside. Lots of steps down! It was a relatively easy 30 minute hike to the waterfall. There is a paved path and stairs that will lead you straight to it. The scenery along the way gets more and more beautiful only to end with the 100 meters tall Love Waterfall. So that's about it for the Love Waterfall. I don't know, you can ask them. It's a nice little coffee place that we're at. We got some Vietnamese drip coffee. And we got ourselves a view. So this coffee was 30,000 dong each and if you want to use the um, attractions over here like these view spots this would be 40,000 dong for entry Super bitter <laughs> So we came to this lookout point called Heaven's Gate and the entry fee is 120,000 dong per person. Beautiful view of the valley here, but today is a little bit cloudy. They have like <laughs> the fake bunny gates. <laughs> yeah, it's so hell. Highly recommend for you guys to come here. I forgot what this place is called. Heaven Gate. Huh? Oh, Heaven Gate. <laughs> it's a very nice place for you guys to look at the valley over here, and it's a really great holiday for people.
So this place is Muong Valley and they have a few like stops along the way that you can view the rice terrace. <laughs> it's very nice but today is a bit cloudy so maybe we will uh, revisit this place tomorrow. I got abandoned to walk up the slope because <laughs> the bike had no power to bring me up. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> Leaving me to walk. I've never been so scared to sit on a motorbike before. <laughs> Till we came to Sapa. <laughs> So we just um, finished taking a motorbike through Muong Valley. Um, the road is quite treacherous I would say like if you are not experienced with a motorbike you shouldn't ride a motorbike. Most people track but uh, because we rented a motorbike so we decided to just use the motorbike and go through the valley. It, it took us less than two hours to finish it on motorbike. Um, I'm not too sure how long people take to trek but it seems like the trek is quite long. Uh, but overall the views are very nice. You get super nice views of the rice terrace. Today is a little bit cloudy. Um, if it was sunny, I think you can really really see it very clearly. Good morning! Today is our last day in Sapa and let me show you how the weather has changed. It's so cloudy today. You can, can't even see the mountains anymore. Look at it. I don't even know if we want to go and see the viewpoint today because it looks like this. Goodbye room. So we're gonna go out and have some lunch and coffee and at 4.30 we'll be taking a sleeper bus over to Ninh Bing. I got myself some fancy pan breakfast. We have some spring rolls, and he got the toasty breakfast. So we're currently waiting for our sleeping bus to come in about 2 hours time to go to Ninbin and on our last day in Sapa, it was so cloudy there is literally nothing for us to see so we just went around cafe hopping we went to the Fancy Pen Terrace first and then now we're at this place in town called Pao Kafi I'm not too sure how to pronounce it You should tell them the, even the poodle also cannot come out Oh, oh yeah! So today was the second time that we visited Fancy Pen Terrace and we really liked that place because of the poodles that we saw yesterday um, but because it was raining, like it was like drizzling and the floor was wet, they didn't let the poodles come out so um, I guess your experience in Sapa really depends on the weather try to go during the drier seasons which I believe is from October to April but of course there will be days like this whereby it's cloudy just pray for good weather uh, I would recommend at least three days here so hopefully one of the three days you will have good weather and you'll be able to see like the valleys and the mountains so yeah I think that's all for our Sapa trip if you guys got any questions leave it in the comments below and subscribe